This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. I have been totally wowed by the reporting capabilities of Project 2013. And it's, it just astounds me how fast and how easy it is to customize and create your own reports. Someone was brilliant when they came up with this. Let's go back into my project and just update you a little bit on the project. Baseline, whoops, we've uh, had a little problem here. <laughs> the project hasn't gone exactly as smoothly as we had hoped. A few little problems with rain and some other issues that came up. But this is actually what's going on in my project. So now what I would like to do is I would like to report what's happening in my project. And I went to reports and I looked and there are great, oh my gosh, there are outstanding reports that are available. But you also might want the ability to create your own custom reports. So by default, there are no custom reports because custom means you created it. So to create your own report, it's here, right here, new report. And you simply say, well, I want a blank and you do everything. Or I want to start with a little bit of help. I want a chart on it. Maybe I want a comparison or maybe I want a table. You simply choose whichever item it is that you want. And I say, well, I would like a chart. And now I give it a name. So this is my class example report. We'll say it OK. And it says, there's the title of your report. And then this wonderful field list pane pops up. I have some new tools up here at the top. I still have the report tools with the design tab and I have chart tools with design and format. These are going to be fantastic. So for instance, I want my title to be just a little bit fancier. And so I click on the title. Now did you notice that my tools changed? Based on what you've selected in your custom report depends on what tools you have. So let's see what kind of tools I have here. Well, I have some great tools for changing my fonts. I don't like any of those quite, so I'm not going to stick with any of those. But let's try this. Let's try choosing our own bevel. So maybe I can come up with a look I like with the bevel. You know, I'm not sure I'm loving that, but it might just be that I need to play until I find something just a little, a little bit better. Or very well could be just the font that I have on here doesn't bevel very well. So then you could go back, ooh, I don't like that. But you could go back and you could explore until you found some great word art styles that actually work and are classy. Make sure that they look good for what your project is, right? Some of these are getting just a little bit too out of hand. But there we go. So find something that works for you. Now remember, what you select is what you affect. So then this is my default report. This is just default. There's nothing fancy here. But if that's, if you're happy with that, this is the actual work, the remaining work, and the uh, work bar. So what if I kind of like these but not really like them? Well, remember, what you select is what you affect. Now, did you notice as soon as I clicked on this, I was able to get my field list back? Right now, I'm not interested in that. Right now, I want to stick with this format tab because you have fantastic formatting presets that are here for you. Or you can go in and set your own colors with the shape fills. Don't forget about gradients and textures. There's all kinds of really great stuff to work with in this area. Or shape effects. Now here, my bevel might look quite a bit different. Would you agree? That's much nicer. So just by selecting the bar and going to shape effects and choosing bevel, I can quickly give my report quite a bit of pizzazz just by adding a chart with some nice beveled bars. Much better than just a plain sheet of paper that says, well, this one's at almost 200 hours and this one, nah, it's beautiful. It's going to look really great when I print it or put it in my PowerPoint slideshow or email it or whatever it is I decide to do with this report. So we can customize. And I'm not going to show you all of these features. You can play and you can explore for sure those features. Well, here's another option you have. In the design tab, these are just presets, what someone has already said. Well, this might look good. Maybe you'll like that. Now, did you notice my bevel went away? Don't forget, you have undo. So if you want it back, you can bring it back. But there are presets. And there's a nice little gallery here that you can choose from. You can choose and say, hmm, yeah, no. You do like it, you don't like it. And then just choose another one. Or go right back to what you liked that you created. 
sky's the limit here. Truly, you are going to just explore, explore, explore. There are just so many great things. Well, speaking of great things, let's talk about all this great stuff down here. Down here on the field list, this is where you can control what's showing on your report. So do I want something other than actual work? Do I want actual work to show? If I don't want actual work to show, I just turn it off. Do I want it? Yes, I do. Do I want budgeted work? Budgeted work, I don't have any budgeted work, so that's not going to do me any good at all. I don't have any overtime work either, but if I had some, I could click on that and overtime would be there. So you see, you can decide which items you want to include. I don't want to include work, or yes, I do. See, you simply determine how you want your chart to look. What do you want to include on your chart? And then keep going. It gets, it's so good. How would you like to filter it? How would you like for things to show? So these are the active tasks. Now sometimes I'll make choices here and they just won't look good with the report. So I just go back. So I want active tasks or I want all the tasks. Now there's not much difference there, if any difference at all. Maybe I just want the critical tasks. Now here, I'm not seeing significant differences, but maybe it's because I don't have any groups on here. So let's group this by what? Milestones? Milestone, yes. Milestone, no. See, I don't have any with milestones, so that won't work. Now, if I did have some set with milestones, then that would be great. How about, um, I don't have priority set, but how about duration? Anything that's two days, any, excuse me, zero days, two days, three days. I just think that what you're going to be able to create in here will be completely amazing. The availability here is just phenomenal. Well, maybe I'd like to group it by resource. So here are people that don't have resource. Now the resource names, they're not showing here. I don't have enough space. So I either need to resize this or I need to go revamp a little bit because I just don't have the right information on the right chart. But this is how it goes when you're first discovering, when you're first playing with your charts and deciding what works well for you. And here's what's really going to help. What's really going to help is when you know in your head exactly what you want and then you go looking for it here in the list. So I wanted you to see that it's dramatically different depending on what you choose. This is complete and incomplete tasks. You simply go through and you identify, here's what I want, here's what's going to look great, here's how I want to group it, here are the outline levels. So I only have level one. Let's see what happens if I go all the way to level three. Well, see I have pre-production, production, post-production, post -production, and then as I'm moving through, I have all of the information. That might be a little bit too much. Maybe really all I want is level two. Maybe that's just a little bit better. Or no, you might be saying, no, no, I want all of it. It makes it really great and very, very useful. So I think you get the idea that as you're building your charts, you simply identify what you want and how you want your charts to look. Oh, you can change your color schemes too. <laughs> it's, so, it's so awesome. It is just so completely awesome how you're able to go in and make quick changes. You can change the chart type. If I decide I don't like that chart, I like this chart better, check it out. It automatically adjusts it. And maybe I like that look a whole lot better. Now, when was the last time you saw someone create a report from their project that had a chart that had lovely bars that looked something like this. I've never seen one. So you can start to create really unique information. Well, remember, as I was creating my report, my goal was just to show you all kinds of different options that are out there. There are a lot of different options. It's not necessarily that I think this is an outstanding report. What I would do then is I would just keep tweaking and working and looking. Did you notice over here I have resources also? <laughs> Did you check that one out? Now I can make reports that have to do with my resources instead of my tasks. And would you agree Then I would start right here? All those things that we were just looking at on the resources sheet, they're going to apply here. Same thing, you have your gallery up here of opportunities for reformatting. You have your format tab to go explore and to place things in here. It's absolutely fantastic. I know, I know you're going to love it. So once you create your report, once you create it, then what's going to happen is right here, you are going to have the availability to use that report by using the name. And mine was called, remember, my class example report. And when you want another one, you simply do report. And this time, I want to format a comparison report. You know, M-P-A-R-I-S-O-N. My comparison report. And now I get started. Now I have multiple items that I can compare. And I can format each one of these.
amazing. Now, one last thought before I leave. What if you're using an existing report? What if you're using a report that someone else has created? Well, you still have a lot of great design tools, and so those design tools we just looked at on creating our own reports, they're also available for you on these reports that someone else has created. So you can apply the design tools to the, ports, the, the reports that are already designed. It's fantastic. You can also delete pieces. So when you have those reports that have directions on them and you don't want the directions to print, all you have to do is select the directions and hit delete, and they're gone. They're no longer on your report when you print. All right, I just have to stop. I love, love, love the reports, and I truly think that you will too, because you are going to have so many opportunities for wowing your audience, and wait till your next supervisor sees the report that you create. Wow. Let's take another pop quiz. What is a potential benefit of creating a custom report? A, you can limit what the report includes. B, you can limit who sees the report. C, while in print preview mode, you can save the report. D, all of the above. The only accurate answer here is A. You can limit what the report includes, and that is why it's called a customized report. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.